Hello everyone and welcome back to Rome Imperator here with the Kingdom of Pontus here 292 BCE. It is late February of 292. We have 135 gold, making 4.15 monthly. 3,000 manpower plus 32 there. 59 political influence plus 1.29 there. 57.09 military experience plus 491 there. We have 49.59 stability, losing negative 0 0.1 there. 257 pops, 240 or 2.42, 242 would be a problem. 2.42 aggressive expansion. We have no war exhaustion, no tyranny, and 7.7 percent of uh, centralization, which I really don't. We, again, we adopted human sacrifices apparently, which is obviously not good. Um, we could try to pass new laws that will give us more centralization. Um, a minor addendum. Masulus Skydrothemus has suggested a small uh, addendum to an often re referenced law pertaining to the rights of the comic folk. It should only be a small effort to push this through the clan council. We will, sure, we'll gain the six stability and we'll lose the political influence, but that's five for the time being. Um, where are laws, 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 nation overview, no, okay, a few, two of our tribes did have, let's close this real quick, okay, let's close that, two of our tribes did have come forward today and asked for help settling ownership over a gold statue they found in Zafaria, already access, believes it belongs to him as he was the one to find it, while Dripetina Serenzi says it belongs to her, so discovered on her land. It belongs to Pontus. They will each lose th 10 loyalty, or they will lose 5 loyalty. Uh, we could gain 5 tyranny. Y you know what? We're going to take the 100 gold and we're going to say it belongs to Pontus. Right? Like, that, that was a little bit of. Um, or a lot bit, I guess, of a greedy, kind of selfish move. But at the same time, if we're going to make buildings, if we're going to, you know, declare more wars, if we're going to... I'm trying to... Thank you. Oops, it's, we'll go back here to the... Kinda, I don't know if this is the geographical map mode or not, but... I do want to get in here and see... Um, elders, tribal rules... Okay, so if we go to barter, economic, economy, statutes, domestic trade is a subjective matter. As long as we, as all parties are content with the deal, then we see no reason to step in. Nonetheless, we should legislate for a system of good practice when engaging in barter trades. Such agreements are notoriously difficult to tax, however. If we go for coin minting initiative, that would give us 0.10 monthly centralization, which would actually cancel out the human sacrifice. Um, it would cost 50 political influence, and it would give us monthly civilization change by 0 0.03, centralization by 0.10. Foreign coins are swiftly becoming the most valuable form of currency within our land. Have any form of legitimacy in the eyes of our neighbors, we must initiate our own program of coin minting. Okay. I mean, r r yeah, th really, this is the only law we could currently change. Um, so there is the adopting of the human sacrifices, um, which we can get rid of that. Okay, encourage syncretism. Foreign guys are much interest to us, but that. Um, okay, if we just say religious freedom, the numerous gods, aspects, and pantheons worshipped by different people in our country are no concern to our emerging state. The freedom to choose how, whom, how and whom to worship should remain a core tenet of our society. Tribes with happiness goes up by four percent. Whereas here, unintegrated happiness would increase by 12%. 
uh, foreign gods are a bunch of interesters, myriad methods of faith exist, and we can only benefit from experiencing them all. I don't know. I think to begin with, we'll go here. It will cost us 15 stability and 50 political influence, giving us monthly centralization plus 0.10, so it'll cancel out that. And give us monthly civilization change plus 0.03%. Doesn't give us any more money, but... Whereas the barter economy statutes does give us commerce income plus 20%. We're gonna go for the coin minting. Foreign coins are swiftly becoming the most valued form of currency within our land. Have any form of legitimacy in the eyes of our neighbors, we must initiate our own program of coin minting. Of course, we did enact a law, dropped our stability, but now our centralization is going to change by zero because we have, of course, the human sacrifices. I guess was the, 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 the base rule of the country when we came in. Uh, but and also now have minted our own coins. So we are gaining zero point zero seven stability now. We're up to three hundred gold. This guy is the magistrate why is he losing he's arrogant uncare he's uncaring arrogant and he's overlooked how are you? you're the magistrate how are you how are you overlooked like um, i will give him free hands he'll gain 20 loyalty uh, he will gain two corrupt point two corruption monthly, and he will be unable to revoke his character's free hands until two years have passed. But the importance of that was we no longer have a disloyal subject. We are down to three point seven eight gold now monthly, which is not ideal. Um, we do have point five two from commerce there, five out of five imports. Six out of six buildings. Nobody is happy, right? Everybody's unhappy. A tribal chief, the Greek regional. Power of Cappadocia declared war on us. Prepare for battle. Pontus, Armenia, and Sophie have all rallied together to defend us in this war. Why the hell? The Cappadocia. Who is allied with the Antigone Kingdom, which used to be a bigger thing than what it is now. I guess Paphlagonia is still a reasonable thing. Um, but apparently Cappadocia decided to declare war on me. Which is a little bit interesting. Right? We are unable to levy more pops because, I don't know, we have 9,000 bed there. All that time run. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I know where it was, Cappadocia. So they are bringing nobody in. Well, we have Armenia and Sophie. Well, I mean, if, if, if that remains the case... Yes, I know you guys are starving. There's just nothing I can do about it. I don't believe. Like... You're part of this province. I can't get... I don't believe I can get another, like, you know, import. In the clan council speaks. Rhetoric can debate a race for a full year. The cloud council Pontus has reached a final stance on the matter of Phrygia Minor. Dried a sharp breath. The herald recites Phrygia Minor must belong to Pontus. So we are working on that mission there. But yeah, I don't understand what would have perpetuated that war. And 
why exactly Cappadocia would have decided to declare war on you. I mean, I I guess. Wait, are they having a rebel? No, that's Macedon, Macedon, and then they have the Humanid rebel. Okay, so they have the Humanid rebellion. Is that part of it? They have a rebellion, and so they're like, "Hey, we're gonna declare war on Pelatus." And 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 that's the main reason why I never play as Cappadocia. I would love to, but oh crap! I mean. Miraculous Healy, your apothecary, Gordius Xerxes, has come to your attention to discuss the following issue. It's come to his attention that High Priestess Dropidus, along with Priestess Itazetta, has recruited your, wealth, your wealthy patient over Venus, carried by promoting the possibility of miraculous healing. Gordius now requests that you put an end to this practice and return the patient to his care. Yeah, the member of the College of Priests will gain five loyalties, they'll gain other gold. Xerxes will lose five loyalty. I, I mean, I get it, but at the same time... As we have one pop to Amnesia... Who is this? Oh, that's a human in rebellion. Land mismanagement in the Sagarage is a display of incompetence. It seems that Governor Adias has mismanaged his estates in the province of Paphlagonia and Furious to such a degree that there are reports of food shortages across the area. It seems the fool tried to introduce a novel system of irrigation without any knowledge of agriculture, ruining most of the harvest. Clap him in irons. His assets will cover the cost. Hecatomnus Savakis will gain 10 popularity. Adius will lose 15 loyalty. He'll lose 10 gold. He will be imprisoned. The province will gain 15 loyalty. Province of Faflagonian Furious gains shorty disease for 120 bucks. We have a scorned family because he was imprisoned. Thibodeau will come in, the new governor of Phrygia Biter. After we have selected Thibodeau as served as the governor of Phrygia Biter, the question arises whether we want to give him a focus before we send him to the governor's residence in Sinop. Uh, wait. He'll receive an instruction from us. Governor instructions to Thibodeau. We have prepared a messenger who we will send to Sinop to give Thibodeau instructions on how she should rule the governorship of Phrygia Biter. We could use this and set the focus for the governor's strategies or specify whether he should run them regularly or should keep the ones we have set ourselves. The governor currently has no governor focus, so decides alone which strategies are given. Uh, I'll say he should have a cultural religious focus. Um, that, and then we'll say that should be enough. Send a messenger. Oh! And we, yeah, we know we're mo we're moving. Uh, we have a Marshall Park available. We can go for uh, inspiring commander. Potis gains inspired commander for thirty-five months. Discipline plus five, or we could say we gain an anal. Naval trait. I think we'll go. Savikas will gain command focus, Marshall plus one, monthly statementship plus one per set. Eh. 
Actually, since we're at war, we'll go for the land trade. I am the I am a heck of communist of Vegas. I'm the tribal chief. I am 41 years old. I have perfect health. Uh, actually, no, I'm I'm not. That's not the tribal chief, is it? Yeah. Okay. It is. I have two sons. Wait. I have four sons or four children. I knew about Hecatomnus II. Um, I didn't realize that I had a second son, but apparently I do. But okay. Yeah, a lot of our territory is about ready to get occupied by Pontus here. Or not by Pontus, by Cappadocia. Occupied now a decent amount of Cappadocia, including a fortress. Because this is the Humanid Rebellion. And so now our army is trying to deal with the Cappadocian army, the first levy of Cappadocia. There were 576 men. Half of our army will try to chase it out of the Cappadocian levy. try to go to uh, help in the lifting the sieges. We have another import that we could apparently do. I don't think we're going to catch up to him, but we're going to try. We did unfortunately lose another siege, but two got captured in Corn. But we are going to defeat the Pot the Cappadocian army. Almost at the Pontic army, we are of course the Pontic army. We lost 99. They lost all 594. Bosper Kingdom with vegetables for 0.10 monthly, we will accept. Now we could occupy most, or annex, not occupy, essentially all of Cappadocia. I guess actually we can't because my army's not being allowed to march through. So. Wow. 
Why would we not have... Alright, Lester Armenia will give us access. Can we do the army now? Yes. We just could have get through the rebellion held lands. This Luke is also what vegetables for buyers, the curious. Unfortunately, Armenia is taking all the land of Cappadocia, essentially. Because we set our army up here to try to deal with, you know, the the occupation. So we could get Cappadocia and Saravine to Pontus. Which would give us, you know, that. Now. That would be interesting. I think, right? Because we could potentially... Lock off Paphlagonia, which I would want for myself. And I mean, if Armenia is going to keep rising, then that would actually make sense. Now, could also give Cappadocia, Catatonia, and Melatine to Armenia. I think we'll do that because I can't occupy anything else and I don't want them to, you know, make a different peace treaty. No, I mean, I can try to, again, get all of it to Armenia outside of the Humanids. But I don't want to do that. Alright, because I am already create helping Armenia, not that Armenia needs my help, I guess, but they're already becoming really strong. Right. So this is what we're going to go with in terms of the peace treaty. I'm going to get this little sliver of Cappadocia. They'll get two provinces of Cappadocia. And that's what we're going to do for a peace treaty. The re Greek regional power of Cappadocia accepted our generous peace. And then the Humanid Rebellion, I think, will probably take over, obviously. Cappadocia Turica needs a governor. Let's see what they have. They have salt, salt, livestock, uh, vegetables, yep. And then they have hemp, precious metals, and more vegetables. Okay. So if we gave them the governor. Asterkos Gamatis, because he's, well, yeah, he's actually got 61 loyalty. Um, he will receive an instruction, and again, he will get a cultural focus. Okay, he will, warning the chosen governor does not have the state religion, therefore won't have an interest. What about a academic focus? There we go. Maybe that was why the message popped back up a second time uh, over here with Sinop, but... 
So we have 290 pops now. Let's see, they had uh, 7, 14, that's 21, 23, 26, 28, 34 pops. And the goal is, we do want to take Paphlagonia, which I believe we even have a claim on. Yes, we do. So we could, we could do that. Um, re All right, the Anatolia... Regional power of Paphlagonia. No, we're not going to trade with them because we're about ready to declare war on them. I mean, they don't know that. The Antigonid, they want salt. We can do that. Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity, what does salt do? Uh, okay, Freeman goes up. Food modifier doesn't go up. Okay. So in Amisios, where we have 27 out of 47 people, or Amisia, the Podtine capital, and Iris and Furious. We'll go back to the kind of geographical map here. Um, we don't have a building yet. We need three more pops for that. Uh, I don't know. What do we... What, what, that. Citizens are unhappy. Is there anything? Cheese? Would give us citizen happiness and noble happiness. Okay. Pelagania from Macedon. Cheese is a food stuff made from the milk of animals such as sheep, goats, or cows. The milk is curdled using rennet or other substances and then pressed, salted, and aged. There are many different types of cheeses with different tastes, shapes, and textures. Because right now we have leather, wood, fruit, earthenware, precious metals, sheep, cattle, iron, Olives, wine, spice, horses, vegetables, and hemp. So, like, to be honest, from all of that, cheese does kind of... What does dates do? Just out of curiosity. Citizen happiness, free bit happiness, slave happiness, free bit happiness goes up. Dates are also decent, but I am going to go with the cheese. Gives me... We are going to disband our levies for right now. Who is unhappy? Sir, why is he unhappy? Cappadocian Civil War ends. The Civil War Cappadocia is finally coming to an end with the treasonous forces of Eumenes. Eumenides utterly crushing the Loyalist armies led by Amantius, the first Amantides, and his rebellious conspirators. The siege of Arathia was the turning point of the war where the rebel forces strove the walls successfully despite horrific casualties. The outcome of this war is largely irrelevant to us as we do not consider Cappadocia as either a friend or an enemy, which we just had a war against them, but, you know. Nevertheless, we ought to be careful now that their nation is on track to recovery. Is it, though? if it really is. Spread of ideas, though our trade connection with the Antigonic Kingdom, new ideas have spread to our people. 10% increase in our technologies. Well, and of course we have a truce with Cappadocia, although... Would we still have a truce with them if it's a different ruling power? Like, now Paphlagonia itself is 220 people.
so like realistically we could try to conquer it in one go but I don't, I, I don't know that that would really work um, that's Phrygia Major Okay, so Paphagonia and Furious. It would also need a new governor over there. Because we, we, we don't have any of that. Currently held. So there are a couple of areas we could potentially. Okay, so we actually could declare war straight up. Which would be interesting. The Greek local power of Cappadocia. Again, the Cappadocians declare war on me. Okay, well. Oh, we can't raise my army? Wait, what? Where? Oh, there. There it is. Like I said, this is why sometimes the political bat mode is... We can only raise... What? Wait. Why is he in Armenia? Um... And why is my army so weird? I feel like we probably couldn't raise more men because of have you just stood our army down recently? I'm guessing that's why I can't raise more men. At the present, right? Because there's usually a cooldown period. But I really don't know why Cappadocia just like randomly decided to attack me again. A military camps for our youth. Cubernus, Karin, who's known throughout all of Pontus for his skill to blade, has asked Heka. Tomnus Savakas to consider establishing the state sponsor program that will train the children of our upper classes in the arts of war. It is said that in the lands of our enemies, a child of five years is taught how to fight with spears. Is there any reason that our Pontine sons should not learn the same? We'll lose 34 gold. Spearman defense and offense increases by five. Pontus engages military training for each for 240 months, so I agree. It shall be done! So we're actually, I mean, we're expanding a little bit quicker than I would have technically liked to. Um, we can't raise any more levies. I mean, we have 3,500 men in their capital. It's not enough to lay siege, however. The fate of Dropidus never is a more devout man who listens to Dropidus. Philonides, our people clamor at the very door of the temple, debating that we declare a priest in his honor. How should we answer them? We could lose 34 more gold, but gain 6 stability. We'll get blessed by the gods for 48 months. Religious tech investment plus 5%. So since we can't. What, what the heck? What? Okay. Because we, we don't have the bad power to um, I mean we could try to hire mercenaries these guys 100 gold will cost seven every month we want to 
hire mercenaries. Well, since I can't raise any more levies. I think I might have to. Scythian with vegetables for point one five. Like No, just you. Um Yeah. Unfortunately, I think they're going to get there before me. Um, and they do. God damn it. Sorry. Um... Yeah, we're gonna lose gold every month now because of this. So I should have decided the mercenaries straight away. I really don't know why Pontus. I'm not Pontus. I was calling Pontus. Sorry. Why Cappadocia declared war on me a second time so quickly? But I, I just I'm, I'm confused by that. They have stone, leather, hemp, and vegetables of that province. Um, they've got vegetables, livestock, right? Everything's sieged down. So they're part of the province in Savarine and Cappadocia, Tarica, and they also have iron that we had already tried to that we had annexed from our first war. So... The sacking of Unessa. Hecatabas of Icus has led us by the glorious victory during the siege of Unessa. The enemy flee disgrace it all that is left is to decide how to treat the residents within. Needless to say, the spoils of war are likely to cause those back in Amicia to admire Hecatabas greatly believing such wealth and days of what man could cause problems for the future. We could gain 18 gold, 10 prestige. He could gain 5 popularity if the men ruled freely. He would gain 10 prestige, 27 gold each. In the first levy of Perturcia becomes loyal, and if none hide, 3 times the first levy of Perturia becomes loyal. Um, four times the Sumerian tribesman Ones is killed. He gains five popularity, but we gain forty-five gold. And none shall hide. Flocking to the banner, the honorable people of Severine have turned out in droves to see the renowned general Kumneris Karin lead his troops on the way to greater glories. A delegation from Argion have requested the honor of sending a number of their young men to join the army of Kubernetes, citing their virtual fanaticism as a great boon during warfare. He'll gain five loyal cohorts of a random type. I mean, I just gained loyal men. He's got 5,000 loyal men. So we're going to get a little bit more land. And I really don't know why... Kubernetes, Karin, 
who's Cappadocia, the Zoroastrian. He's got 10 loyal cohorts, 492 wealth, 42 power base. One slave goes to Pontic K. I really Not entirely sure where he's going. Seriously. Thank you. We finally have got our, our, our mercenaries there. Wow, are they going to give it all to us? This, I mean, this would be something. If we get all of the rest of Cappadocia? Wow. Um, we'll go with the Anatolian deity of war. Manpower recovery speed plus 3.3 die per cent. Sibius or... Sabazius is the horseman of the Skyfather god of the Phrygians and the Thracians. In Phrygian mythology, Sebios was identified with Midas, the legendary king of Phrygia, who was said to have been a devotee of the goddess Sybil. Sebdios was often portrayed as a burdened horned figure riding on a horse or a bull, and he was sometimes shown holding a staff or a serpent. He was also associated with the constellation Ares, which was sometimes referred to as the Ram of Sabdios. Interesting. New military structure? It seems Basilus has really taken to his job as a general as he has started reworking the whole infrastructure of the troops assigned to him. However, these, these changes have started seeing a lot of officers and troops who are loyal to the general over Pontus and troubling development for what the future might hold. Instead of intervening, put an end to that nonsense. We don't need any more troops who are not loyal to Pontus. I don't know if I want, like... Prosperity. Under the guidance of Basulus Sky Drophimus, Pontus has got from strength to strength. Some of our advisors are recommending the institution of a new tax in order that the national treasury might share this prosperous era. No. We have no need for gold. He will gain 10 popularity. He will gain 5 popularity ourselves. It will gain 6 stability. And yeah, um, we, I mean. Now, on the one hand, I don't like getting too big too quickly because I don't know that it's, like, realistic. And then you have to, you know, do a lot of consolidation and all of that. At the same time, who is? Why? Dude. He has free hands. All right. So, we're going to end the war. Um... Oh, well, we can't. No, actually, we can't end the war because we don't yet have the capital. Interesting. Or this fortress down here, anyway. But again, I, I, I really am confused as to why they wanted to declare war on us a second time. You know, so quickly to the first war. Where, where they had to know they weren't going to be able to really where is our mercenaries they're going to leave we're going to try to disband our mercenaries because we no longer need them I don't think Yep, this is all Cappadocia Tarica. This is part of 
Oh wow, it's all part of Cappadocia Carta. Okay. I guess. Can we... Yes. We disbanded the mercenaries, so we no longer need them. So we will hopefully start losing the 2.85 gold monthly. I mean, the good news um, at the same time is we have the what kingdom? The Savan kingdom. Interesting. Um, if we do take all of Cappadocia, we... You know, Armenia's got 1,200 people right now, right? We have almost 300, which I'm happy about. Cappadocia has 122. Like, that would give us up over 400 people. Paphlagonia would give us 600-ish. We have a military tradition. Um, I thought we did... Okay, so we have the Armino Pontic Military Traditions. Um, kind of cool. What are armies made up of? So we've got light. Cavalry, heavy infantry, and light infantry. So, then... You can go with Patek Skull. Um, Armenian horse breeding. When active, heavy cavalry outfits goes up by 5%, but light cavalry movement speed goes up by 10%. We'll go with the Equestrian Cultural first. Yeah. Right, because their defense will go by 10% in Asia, the horse must be the most important animal in war, some even dedicated their entire culture to it. So light cavalry defense plus 10%. So once we got rid of the mercenaries, we did stop lose the, losing the money. And obviously the, the bigger population base, the more money you're going to get as well. Uh, my the Siege of Dora is one. Siege lasted 259 days before the garrison finally succumbed to your disease. Pontus now controls the province. Karen gained 0 0.06 popularity. Two pops were captured. Was the distributed as slaves. One to Matosuku, Matasco, and one pop died. Alright, so if we take Cappadocia to Kianantis to Pontus. Cappadocia itself to Pontus, and all of it to Pontus, right? And then Fruit Paphlagodia is going to be the next piece that I want to get. So we're going to take all of it. The Greek local power of Cappadocia accepted our generous peace. Cappadocian elite, after protracted conquest, we finally routed the Cappadocian armies and laid waste to their lands. During the sacking of their capital, many important prisoners were taken, many of them having previously held important positions in the Cappadocian court. Banish those of class, put the rest to the sword. 
So we now have 480 pops. We can disband our levies. Two years, essentially. Is when we have to wait to try to... Dude, why... Spread of ideas, we get more advances. Why can we not? Yes, stand everybody down. All right, we're getting a lot of trade flowing in now. Again, we're gonna get rid of the fort there. We're gonna get rid of the fort there. I want to decide what goes with each province. We will probably build more forts, but at the moment, I want to make sure that I'm the one deciding. Um, hemp from Kyanatis. Roxolania, the Scythians want leather from Tyanitis, we'll give them that, and Rolox, Roxolania wants hemp, so we'll give them both. We're down to 3.58 gold, which I don't know if I totally understand. But okay, yeah, because of the fortresses. Uh, if we look, Kizikos wants iron from Cappadocia. Fine. Again, we're just trying to do whatever we can to make money. So again, I mean, I mean, quite a lot of expansion here for Pontus in this episode, as we get towards the end of it. Um, 418 pops, again, almost five gold monthly. You know, we are going. To, okay, we have an accident in Siusa. We have been told of a major industrial accident at the extensive works of the vicinity of Siusa in Saravine. Iron is a main export of the city, and it seems that Knucklehead's in charge of the site allowed parts of the structural supports to fall and neglect as they tried to keep up with high demand. A huge collapse level wiped out the working shift of slaves, and the owners have come gravely to the provincial authorities for compensation dealt with re-establishing production. The slaves themselves are not too happy with the loss of their friends and family and naturally cagey about returning to work in such conditions. Without significant repairs, there is no way production can be maintained at anywhere near the previous level, and all the slaves are bound to cause problems without a show of goodwill. If we spend 34 gold, Gamatis will gain 10 loyalty, we'll gain 10 popularity, citizens and slaves will go up by happiness, 8% happiness, and a slave in CS is killed by. think there's anything else we could do. Alright, government ideas. We are going to go for religious freedom. It'll cost us 50 political influence. Um, all the claims are loyal, though. National tribes would happiness will also go by 4% because we'll lose the uh, human sacrifices for religious integration. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go here for the encourage syncretism. Four guys are much interest to us. Myriad faiths, methods of faith exist that we could only benefit from experiencing them all. Right, because it says we're going to have a state religion, but we're going to be open to the idea of other religions. Like, we're not going to persecute everybody. But we're also not going to say, you know what, everybody can, you know, worship whatever. So that should give us... Um, and also, unintegrated culture and group happiness will go up by 12%. Our 
our stability decreases because we enacted a law. But it is going to go by 0 0.05 each month to do because we are no longer having, you know, sacrifices or human sacrifices anymore. We are no longer importing cheese. Well, that sucks. Um, we can build another building. Nobody is happy. Um, we bi Noble District obviously makes people happy, but... We have seven citizens and four nobles. So what makes citizens happy? Daughter is with Bora Duekatomnis Savakis. We are told that is being Ada. That's fine. Uh, you know what? We're going to build a conscription camp. Thrace, what's up? And the Aramaic power of Kamenye one temp. We'll go with Trace, however. Shadow of the Night last night, Hecataba Sabakis encountered two brute thugs on the way home, fearing for his life. He barely managed to escape. Today, we, we should arrive to commiserate, but Dara Vias, Surin's self avowed rival of Hecataba, flanked by the two very thugs who had committed the deed. Sadly, at this point, it is his word against that of Hecataba. We will imprison Surin. We also have a bountiful harvest. Word has arrived that this year's harvest was exceptionally good to the territory of Furia. Whilst the merchants may be holding their heads in their hands, the people rejoice at the plummeting price of bread. The people should rejoice. We've gained free stability. Yes. We can take another martial perk. And we'll gain a naval perk there. We also can make another trade in the capital. Uh, I'll try to get cheese again from Pelagonia this time. In terms of our technology, we're in 287. It's expected to be done in 497. So I think this is right and makes sense because it's now 467, so 30 years away. That makes more sense, right? Now we do... What's going on here? Who is this? The, oh, the Paphlagonian Revolt. Oh, because of the Paphlagonian Revolt, I feel like we need to declare war... on Paphlagonia and take advantage of this because I think I know what's going to happen we are now at war with Paphlagonia we, we were able to raise 11,000 men
or 12,000 men actually. And I don't know... But I believe... Yep. Okay, it's just a standard rebellion, okay. But again, like, they're having a rebellion, so why not? Did the Armenians hire the mercenaries? No. That's just the way the back of the Armenian soldier looks, okay. So my hope is that we'll be able to occupy right enough of Paphlagonia kind of uh, if nothing else up here in the north. As the Paphlagonian army itself is starting to kind of rise up. Looks like Paphlagonia has defeated their rebellion. And we're actually going to move these 3,000 troops out here to watch the Royal Paphlagonian forces. To try to make sure that they don't... Where did he go? He just disappeared. Okay. I don't really understand. But my, my goal is, again, to, to really watch them and make sure that they don't try to, like, besiege part of Pontus while we're trying to siege down this fortress here. But anyway, like I would say, that is where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. Thank you to everybody for watching. Uh, Pontus is growing kind of rapidly, actually. Um... Having a lot of fun, of course, and, and you know I'll try to continue to learn. And you know, with the Macedonian revolt down here, how about how big is that? It's a lot of Asia Minor. Wow. So yeah, and then as yeah, because here comes the Paphlagonian army of fifteen hundred men. Um... So it's a good thing I kind of you know, you know scouted that correctly. Although it does look like they will still be able to unfortunately siege down my city. As, although we did win the siege of Kibita. The siege lasted 223 days before the garrison finally succumbed to hunger disease. Pontus controls the province. One went to Amnesia and one died. Battle, the Battle of Patera, which we won. Okay, I, I wanted to make sure on that one.
Now again, what we're doing here is trying to take, you know, all the cities. Aha! Yeah, you're not gonna get there in time. Now, we don't have enough men. But if we don't have enough men, you don't have enough men. Through our trade connections with the Adagata Kingdom, we get tempers that really just advance. So yeah, it looks like we're going to take most of Paphlagonia, if not all of it. And Pontus will get a great deal lar larger again. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Try to be back a year in the future, hopefully, and take care.